Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be part two of our, uh, what are we calling this? Our walnut logging adventure? I don't know, whatever I decide to title it. If you missed part one, you're going to want to go back and watch that so you're not missing out on the action. Everybody else, well, let's jump in the truck. So for those of you that were wondering from the last video, my lunch was excellent. Leftover corned beef and cabbage. So that, that filled me up right. So we got about a five minute drive here from the mill over where I got these logs stacked. So it's getting a little windy out. Hopefully we can uh, not have too much wind noise in the background. I'll do whatever I can for you guys. Out in the middle of an open field, there's only so much I can do. So I'll bring you back when we get there. Well, would you look at that, right where we left them. Along with half my gear, I figured it was easier to bring it back in the truck than try to shoehorn it on the tractor again. Not too fond of driving with a chainsaw on my lap. So the hard work is technically over. This is where the sad work comes in. I say that because now I gotta scale all this up and see how much footage I have here. I mean, that seems like it'd be good, right? Yeah, except I gotta pay for this. So, yeah, you heard me right. If you watched the last video, I did all that work, and I get the privilege of paying to do that work. But, you know, that's that's the way it goes. That uh, That's what happens when you're dealing with walnut, and um, it's not gonna be a, a cheap bill either. So, I gotta go through every log here I'm gonna scale. Um, I've showed you how I do that in the past. Um, I got my scale stick here. Uh, I just use a scale stick. And that tells me how many board feet are in each log. So this should go pretty quick and easy for me. I don't need to measure the lengths because I just cut them all this morning and well, I cut them myself and my memory's not that terrible. I remember what lengths I have everything. So I'll be able to just slap the stick on them, write down my, my scale number and add it all up. So I got 1,013 board feet here on the ground. How much is that gonna run me? Well, some things will remain a mystery. Plus my wife might watch this and I might not want her to know how much I'm gonna pay for this walnut. But um, no, it's some nice stuff. I'm happy to have it. So I'm gonna get the truck fired up here again and we'll get loaded up.
Well, we're loaded. We got quite the load on. Hopefully we can make it back to blacktop. I wanted to show you guys in the last video and I forgot. And you can still see it a little bit. Walnut, sometimes when you cut it, gets this blue-green ring in the sapwood. Uh, kind of between the sapwood and the heartwood. I don't know what it is, but you can see it shows up here, but then it, it disappears. It's already starting to fade. It was pretty prominent when I first cut the logs. I should have showed you then. But um, it's kind of neat looking. And I don't know what it is. Maybe somebody in the comments can enlighten us. I never took the time to research it. Um, it's just one of those neat, neat little things. Uh, and like I said, by the time this hits the mill, that will have faded out. You'll never know it was there. But um, kind of a neat little thing. So I'm going to get this strap down. And we'll see if we can get out of here. If I'm being honest, if we were going far with this, this would have been two loads. But we got a grand total of probably two miles. stuff packed up load strapped down let's see if we can get out of here come on baby we're moving if i told you guys i need a bigger truck Problem is, I just spent all my money on walnut logs. It's gonna have to wait. Yeah, we're a little heavy. We're definitely leaving a track behind us. But I think the worst part is over. I just didn't want to spin out on that hill. Now that we're moving, I think we'll make it. Well, I made it. And I relearned a lesson that I already knew, but forgot. Well, I don't know if I forgot, but should have paid more attention to. Walnut is heavy. On paper, I should be able to haul this, no problem. Shouldn't be that much if you figure out the volume and uh, the weight. But what people don't account for with walnut, it holds so much water. A lot of these were just dripping. I mean, we've we've had a tremendous amount of rain here the last couple weeks. And a lot of these, when I cut them, the logs were just dripping wet. And the water weight is really what adds up in logs. And this was heavy, very heavy. Probably should have broke it in two loads in hindsight. But basically, if you've ever been here, we're going two miles down the road, mostly on dirt roads. So it is what it is. So just kept it slow and, and got her home. So I'm gonna get unloaded here. Well, that's a good looking load of logs. As you can see, I'm kind of running out of space here. I got wood stacked up everywhere. I got to get the saw in here, um, get some of this stuff moved, make it disappear. Unfortunately, 
this walnut is going to sit probably two to three weeks just because well this oak i'm standing on needs to get done first the hemlock behind it next uh it's a process a lot of it's spoken for um so unfortunately as much as i'd love to dig right into this walnut because i like sawing it it's got to go on the back burner a little bit so because of that i got my backpack on we're going to anchor seal it i should probably not be standing downwind of that that's probably a dumb idea i go home all pink and waxy Surprisingly, this is working considering it sat all winter. Thought for sure it'd be gummed up. The only problem is I can't really pump the sprayer and hold you guys at the same time. So if you're not familiar with Anchor Seal, I've used it before in the past. It, um, it's just an end sealer. It's like a wax emulsion end sealer that seals up the end of the log, keeps them fresh. Um, kind of helps prevent splits on the end, seals in some moisture, um, kind of helps so they don't stain on the ends. So you might be wondering what this stuff is gonna be. Well, this does not have a definitive use. It's not currently sold. Uh, I'm probably, majority of it's gonna be one inch lumber. I'll probably do some thicker stuff. Obviously I'm gonna grade saw. So I'm gonna to try to get the highest grade out of it. You know, try to make select FAS lumber. Um, anything lower grade, like the common grade stuff, that typically for me is gonna be used as hardwood flooring. Uh, which, by the way, if you haven't seen the video uh, I did a while back around Christmas where I took a tour of one of my customer's homes where he did all walnut flooring, I'll link to that somewhere here. Uh, that one's worth watching. If you've never seen walnut hardwood flooring, um, it's really a beautiful project. Um, but kind of going off on a tangent on that. So that's pretty much what this will be. Grade lumber for furniture. I'll sell to my regular customers and then... Uh, Hopefully, you know, we'll do a walnut flooring job here down the road. Um, I may do a little bit of live edge, but to be quite honest with you, I'm not a live edge guy. I always keep some of it around. Uh, I'm probably going to offend somebody here. It's not really my ball game. Um, don't take this the wrong way, but I feel like everybody that has a backyard sawmill um saws live edge and throws it on facebook marketplace or craigslist and it's just not something that uh i'm interested in entertaining i i usually keep some around here for my regular customers but i don't go out of my way for it um you know with with everything i have here with the mill work ability and stuff it just i tend to try to go for a little bit higher end products so like I said, sorry, I know I'm probably offending somebody with that, but uh, don't take it personally. It's just my business decision. So, I, uh, I'm going to have to put you guys down so I can pump this thing and, and keep spraying here. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to get this finished up and clean the truck up. I've got a bunch of corn stubble to sweep off of there. I guess that came free with it. Uh, tomorrow i got to haul more logs. I actually made a deal with a guy for some pine and ash logs. I probably won't film that. Probably nothing too spectacular there. Maybe maybe when we get them on the mill I might show you. Um, but that's that's nothing special. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, enjoyed coming along with me today. Uh, working out in the woods a little bit and doing a little hauling. Um, I was saying about how wet those logs are. Yeah, let me get out of the shot here. You can just see the water seeping out of them. They're heavy, trust me on that. You wouldn't want one on your toe. So anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.